I'm Mark Cowan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Saltwater aquariums are great, but when you don't have lights on them, they're not much fun. And up to this point in the saltwateraquarium.com 700, we haven't had lights on the tank. But that's all about to change right now. Today, the saltwateraquarium.com 700 has lights over it. What's that you're thinking? What brand of lights? There's actually two different brands of lights on this tank. And before I tell you the brands, I'm going to step out of the way, let you pause the video to try to figure out where those different lights are located on the tank. Now, if you don't care about that, you just want to jump straight to the spoiler. Fast forward to the next edit point. Over the saltwateraquarium.com 700, we've got both the Neptune System Skylight and the Ecotech Marine XR30 Pro. Yep, we're blending both lights at least for a little while. Why? Well, first, software experimentation purposes. We want to try out both Ecotech Marine Mobius app and see how the Neptune System Sky interfaces inside of Apex Fusion. Second, we're dipping our toes in the water to start. The Radeon has been around for over 10 years and it's proven itself time and time again. Now the Neptune System Sky is built to closely mimic the Radeons, and Neptune System is a very reputable company. And they've certainly done their homework developing the Sky. We don't doubt that it's not going to work. We just want to try it a little bit before we potentially commit 100%. The Ecotech Marine Radeon comes in two flavors. Radeon Pro, Radeon Blue. What's the difference? The Radeon Blue, as the name implies, is more towards the blue end of the light spectrum. Out of the box, it's going to give you a bluer type of light which a lot of SPS heads like, and it's going to give you more light penetration. Radeon Pro is a whiter looking light, straight out of the box, you can still make it blue if you want to, and it's going to give you less light penetration. Now, a word about the light penetration part. Across all the Radeons that I've ever run, all the way back to the Generation 1, I've never had to crank them up to 100% intensity to get the light that I want down into my tank. This is true even in a client's 48 inch deep tank. I've got Radeon Generation 3s on that tank. They're not even cranked up to 100%. I get plenty of power at the bottom of the tank. So even though I'm running a 30 inch deep tank behind me and we're using the Radeon Pros, we're gonna get plenty of light down into the tank. I highly doubt we'll ever have to crank these things up to 100% to get the amount of light that we want into the tank. Now we like the whiter type of light, therefore we went with the Radeon Pros. No matter what light you choose for the tank, you have to mount the light over your tank. When we first designed this system, the idea is that this tank would have a canopy over it. Therefore, we mounted it very close to the wall behind it. Well, the boss changed his mind. He decided he wanted the open top look. Therefore, no canopy. Now, both the Neptune System Sky and the Ecotech Marine Radions work with Ecotech's various light mounting kits. But since this tank was so close to the wall behind it, we couldn't use the RMS tank mount. That left one solution. Suspend the lights off Ecotech Marine's RMS rail. The rail is suspended off the rafters in the ceiling, and all the lights fit on this rail with Ecotech Marine's XR30 slide. We can reposition the lights, change their orientation, add or remove lights as we want. And the rail is anodized black for a sleek modern look. Perfect for an open top tank. 